Heavenly Father, I thank you, Father God, that you are the great and mighty God. I thank you, Lord, that you are Yahweh Jireh. You are El Shaddai. You are Lord God Almighty, the God who see us and you provide all that we need. Father, I thank you that you are El Gabor, our mighty warrior champion. Father, I thank you that you are Yahweh Nisi, our victory banner. And your banner over us is love. Father, we come boldly to your throne of grace and mercy right now, oh God, to give you the highest praise. And that's hallelujah. Father, we cover ourselves and our families with the blood of Jesus. We cover our possessions with the blood of Jesus. We cover our workplaces with the blood of Jesus. Father God, we cover our vehicles with the blood of Jesus. Father, right now we put on your whole armor. And Lord, we thank you that we have our spiritual weapons and we are ready to fight the good fight of faith, oh God. Father, you've given us the keys of the kingdom. And whatever we bind on earth, oh God, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever we loose on earth is loose in heaven, Father, we thank you. For Matthew 16 and verse 19, we have the keys of the kingdom. We are royalty. We are a royal priesthood. We are a royal priesthood, oh God. We are your children. And I thank you, oh God, that we have your support. We have your angels who are encamped all around us. And because we have the keys of the kingdom, Lord, whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. And so, Father, right now we bind and cast out anything that's not of you. We drop them into the brimstone abyss in the name of Jesus. We bind the evil strong man. We bind Jezebel, Ahab, Athalia. We bind Leviathan. We bind pride. We bind rebellion, stubbornness, disobedience. We bind perversion. We bind principalities, evil powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. We bind and cast them out into the brimstone abyss in the name of Jesus. Father God, we trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the devil and nothing shall by any means hurt us. We bind and cast out sickness, disease, infirmities. We bind bind and cast out, Father God, every cancer that would try to attack our bodies, Father God. We bind every addiction. We bind every violent spirit and we cast them out into the brimstone abyss in the name of Jesus. Father God, we bind every diabetes. We bind and cast out every high blood pressure, every low blood pressure. We bind every stroke, every heart attack, kidney failure. We bind every blood disease. We bind every blood disease. Father, we bind arthritis. We bind and cast out any pain, any infirmity that's in our bones, our muscles, our organs, our joints, or any parts of our bodies. Father God, we bind them and cast them out. We uproot every sickness, every infirmity, every evil growth. We bind them. We burn them up, oh God. With the fire of your word, according to Isaiah 53 and verse 5, oh God. But we loose healing right now, Lord. We release humility. We release shalom, peace. We set our families free, oh God. And we release love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, wisdom, knowledge, understanding. We release supernatural healing upon our bodies, our souls, our spirits, our families, our marriages, our spouses, our children, our finances. Father, I thank you for repairing our bodies, our souls, our spirits, our families. I thank you, oh God, hallelujah, that your word is fire in our bones. I thank you, oh God, that we are we're in good health. We have wholeness and wellness. We lack no good thing, Father. Sickness cannot dwell in our bodies. The enemy has illegally trespassed against us, oh God. And he has been attacking our families. But Father, the thief has been caught. And we bind him and cast him out. And he must give us seven times what he has stolen from us. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we pray to you, Abba. And you are restoring the years the palmer worms ate up in our lives. You are restoring good health back to us, oh God. The floodgates of heaven are open up over our lives. And we stand beneath the open heavens where healing is being released now in abundance. I thank you, O oh God, that our bodies are repaired. I thank you, O oh God, 
that we get good doctor's reports from the, from the doctors, oh God. We get good reports from the doctors. I thank you for miracle signs and wonders. There's a miracle taking place in our bodies. Straighten up our health, oh God. Straighten up our families. Straighten up our finances, Lord. In the name of Jesus, correct anything that's incorrect. Father God, make accurate anything that's inaccurate, Father. Let our bodies align with your word. Let our spirits, our souls, our minds, will and emotions align with your word, oh God. Let our marriages align with your word. Let our children align with your word. Hallelujah. Let our finances align with your word, Father God, because you said, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And so, Father, I thank you that we're in good health, oh God. And we grow in wisdom. We grow in knowledge. We grow in truth. We grow in favor. Your favor is overtaking us. We have favor with you and favor with man. I thank you that we release favor, oh God. I thank you, oh God, that your favor has been released. Your goodness has been released. Your joy, your restoration, your recompense, your reconciliation. I thank you, oh God for new strength being released upon us. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And Lord, I thank you that we feel the weight of your glory. We feel your presence. We feel your angels. Father God, I thank you that every demonic season, calendar, pattern, and cycle, they're destroyed with the blood of Jesus. And we're in the blessed season and cycle pattern of the Lord. I thank you, Father God, that good things manifest in our lives now. I thank you, O oh God, that we shut the door behind us, O oh God, and we pour the oil, hallelujah, the oil of gladness, the oil of the Holy Ghost, the anointing oil, the oil of victory is poured out, O oh God, is being poured down in our homes. I thank you, O oh God, that the oil of miracle is released. The oil of healing is released and multiplied. O oh God, is multiplied and released. The oil of shalom, peace. The oil of forgiveness. The oil of breakthrough and birth through is, is, is being poured down. They're being poured down right now in the name of Jesus. The oil of healing. The oil of healing is released in the name of Jesus. Heal every part of us, O oh God. Correct our bodies, correct our spirits, correct our souls. I thank you, hallelujah, Lord, that your river of healing is flowing through us. Out of our bellies are flowing rivers of living waters. Father, the same way you restore Job times two, you are restoring us. Anything that has been damaged, anything that has been attacked, I thank you for restoration times two, double for our trouble, double for our trouble in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the day of healing, February 8th, 2024. I speak new beginning over our health, over our wealth, over our families, over our ministries, over our finances, over our finances in the name of Jesus. Like Elisha, we pour the salt of your word into the water and the water is healed and the land is productive. There's no more infertility. There's no more barrenness in our lives. I thank you, O oh God, that we bear righteous fruit. We bear fruits of healing. We have the harvest of healing in the garden of Eden, that place of delight. We delight ourselves in you, Father God, and you have given us the desires of our hearts, oh God. I thank you that we flourish like a palm tree and we grow like a cedar in Lebanon. I thank you, oh God, that we're planted in your house. We're planted in your courts. We're planted in your will. We are rooted and grounded in you, Father God, and we are successful. I pray this over my husband. I pray this over our children. I pray this over our tribe that we flourish in you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we lack no good thing. The demonic chains, ropes, yokes, prisons, the demonic yokes and ropes, the demonic chains, the demonic shackles, the demonic prisons are destroyed. 
with the blood of Jesus. I use the fiery hammer of your word to pulverize everything that's been coming against our households. But I build up your kingdom, oh God. I stand on your word. I build on the solid rock and his name is Jesus. And he, he is our healer. And he is our healer. Father, I thank you that you are Emmanuel. You are the God who is with us. You will never leave us nor forsake us. You say, call on me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you don't know. And so I stand on Jeremiah 33 and verse 3. I stand on Jeremiah 33 and verse 3. I stand on Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. Father, I thank you that your kingdom has been established in our lives. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, give us this day our daily bread in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O oh God, for the miracles that we're seeing in our bodies. I thank you, that, I thank you, Father God, that there's no more multiple sclerosis. I thank you, Father God, that there's no more MS. There's no more cancer. There's no more diabetes. There's no more high blood pressure. There's no more anxiety. There's no more sinus problems. There's no more weakened immune system. There's no more stroke. There's no more heart conditions. There's no more bone disease. There's no more infirmity. Father, I bind every witchcraft and cast them out into the brimstone abyss in the name of Jesus. There's no more addiction. I thank you, O oh God, that we rely on your word. We spend time with you in the secret place of the Most High God. I thank you for healing our organs, our liver. I thank you for, for healing our kidneys. I thank you for healing our kidneys. I thank you for healing every system in our bodies, O oh God. I thank you that there will be no premature death and destruction. I destroy the curses off of our lives and I release the blessings of Abraham. And Father God, you said your blessings make us rich and you add no sorrow. And Father, you said if we be willing and obedient, we will eat the best of the land. And so I release 3 John 2. I release 3 John chapter 2 over us. We prosper and walk in health, even as our soul prospers. I thank you, Father God, even as our soul prosper. I prosper and walk in health, even as my soul prospers. According to three, according to 3 John 2, Father, I thank you that my family we see the manifestation of 3 John 2. Our tribe, they see the manifestation of 3 John 2. Lord, you have blessed our bread and water and you have removed sickness and disease away from us. Lord, I thank you that you've healed all of our diseases. Father, I thank you that you have sent your word to heal us, to burn up any infirmity, sickness, and disease, every plague they're destroyed. And you said no evil, no plague will come near our dwelling. I release Psalm 91 over our household. In the name of Jesus, every tumor is dried up, burnt to ashes. But Father, your word is growing and thriving in us. Father, flush out our systems, flush out our bodies, flush out our spirits, our souls. Remove the infection, the germs, the bacteria, Remove them now. And I thank you that we are vibrant. I thank you, O oh God, that we rise up to lead the comb in the name of Jesus. The Son of righteousness is shining upon us with healing in his wings. And we leap from the stalls. And Father, I thank you that we are restored. You are wowing the doctors. You are wowing the doctors right now. They shall see the power of God in our situations. And I cover this prayer in all of us with the blood. And I seal this prayer in all of us with the eternal seal of the Holy Ghost. I soak us in the blood of Jesus. And I command our bodies to be healed. There will be no more headaches. There will be no more hormonal problems and imbalances. There will be no more mental illness. There will be no more trauma. We are healed and we are restored and we are being blessed like Esther, promoted, oh God, because we are your royal children. You've given us a beautiful crown for our ashes. We're being promoted from the pit to the palace like Joseph. I thank you, oh God, that we walk 
in Revelation, like Daniel. We're intelligent and brilliant like the three Hebrew boys. I thank you, oh God, that we touch the hem of the garment of Jesus and power is released in our lives. I pray this over our sons and daughters. I pray this over husbands and wives, the body of Christ. Lord, I thank you, Lord, I praise your holy name. We win souls for your kingdom, Lord. We win souls for your kingdom, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, help us to walk in the fruit of the Spirit. Help us to walk in love. Help us, oh God, to walk in obedience to you, Father God. I thank you for the victory that you've given to us and that you will give to us. I thank you for the financial blessings that are coming. I thank you for the blessed doors that are open, oh God. I thank you, Father God, for the blessed doors that are open. But we shut every evil door and seal them with the blood of Jesus. Oh God, we cover our progress with the blood. We cover 2024 and every year with the blood of Jesus. I thank you that good news come to us now on repeat in the name of Jesus. We love you, oh God. We adore you, oh God. We thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for answering this prayer by fire, oh God. In the name of Jesus, you're the God who answers by fire. And you are King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen, amen, amen.